Hey everybody, welcome into Rock Painting 101 where we give you fun new rock painting ideas that anybody can create. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you do, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Let's get painting. Okay, so we're gonna just be doing this really fun, simple flower design. I'm just using black acrylic paint. Um, I think a lot of times when people are using acrylic paint, uh, the paint might be a little thick and they have a hard time getting these fine lines. So we're gonna kind of create this fun, flowy, kind of almost looks like it's ink style um, side view of a flower. Um, so I've got just plain acrylic black straight out of one of these style of containers, DecoArt, CraftSmart, this one's Apple Barrel, whatever you have that's kind of this, this style of paint. I've got some water in a little jar here. We'll move this guy off to the side. And then I've got my paintbrush. Now, this is from, I did link to our affiliate shop. This is from just the plaid pack that comes, but I have altered this one slightly. I don't know if you can see if I bring it really close. I have trimmed off maybe about a third of these bristles. See if I pull to the side, you can see there's a good chunk that are missing. Um, just because I wanted it to be an extra fine liner style paintbrush. So these are not super expensive brushes. I think the whole set is maybe like $10. Um, so I'm not, you know, saying to go cut your know, really fancy paintbrushes, but if you've got some cheaper ones and you're looking for an extra fine line, find one in the set that you don't seem to use that much and go ahead and alter it. it it's fine. Um, there's no rules, right? In rock painting. So I've got my plain black acrylic paint back here. I probably squirted way too much. I'll probably do a whole set of these. I'm gonna do at least one here live. Um, and then my water. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna thin this paint out quite a bit. A lot of times, uh, I'll even make a stripe here. If I go right into this paint, even with this thin brush, a lot of times if it's the regular paint, when you lay it down, it can get thicker. If you add just the littlest bit of water, and so what I do is I kind of pull it to the side, add some water, and create kind of this more of an inky kind of consistency. And then once I get that kind of lump off my brush from pulling in the paint, see so you can get even finer lines. See that? You're just, I think a lot of times people try to press too hard too, because even with this, if I press really hard, look, I can get a nice thick line as well. Okay, so a lot of it is pressure that you're placing on your paintbrush, right? Um, and then other times you can thin out your paint with acrylic paint, because acrylic is water-based. So just that little bit of water in there isn't gonna hurt the integrity of the paint too much, right? So we're gonna go ahead and build our flower here on our stone. So just gotta pick which side. It's pinched a little smaller over here. The side's a little thicker, just however you think it's gonna lay on there well. Um, I'm gonna get a little bit more water on my brush get a little bit more of this paint to the side here so that I'm kind of ready to go. I don't have to worry about mixing any paint in the middle. And I'm just gonna keep pulling from this one spot over here. So we're gonna start by creating the center of our flower in our design here. I see a couple of you saying hello. I, I can kind of see those as they go by. I don't have my comments on my iPad. Um, feel free to say where you're watching from too. It's kind of fun to see how far we stretch. You don't have to be too specific, but it's still kind of cool. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and create just the arch of the center part of our flower here first. And just kind of like if you were doing this with a pencil, we're gonna kind of create almost like a sketch line with this one, just because we're gonna come back in and add kind of these dotting textures to it anyways. Then once you've got it down, you can kind of pull a smooth line along it if you want to. But this is still, I know a lot of people have a hard time and I do too, I am a coffee lover of getting nice smooth straight lines. So this is one that you can kind of practice your lines, but when we go back and add all these extra lines and texture to it, you can kind of fix some problems. If it didn't go on as smooth as you like, it's not gonna stand out like a sore thumb, but this is a good one to practice um, pulling nice smooth straight lines so we're going to start with our center uh petal here so right about in the middle we're going to find that spot we're going to come down and out to the side a little bit 
So start at the tip and try to pull it all in one. See if you leave a little bit more texture, it might get a little thicker. But again, this is okay because this is a very forgiving design. Like, like all of our designs here, Rock Painting 101, right? So it's very forgiving if you mess up or you don't get a full line. I did not get a full line there. It's still gonna be fine. All right, and we're gonna create a petal off to either side. Now this one's probably gonna kind of fall off the rock here. So I'm just gonna pull the left-hand side of that one to about the same spot. And the right side one over here. Like that, we might catch a little bit of the tip before it fades off to the side of the rock. So now we've got our three petals on here and you can do more or less. You can make these petals skinnier, wider, however you wanna do it. This is just a jumping off point. So next we're gonna create kind of a center line from of the flower petal. So we're gonna come from the center a little bit past the halfway mark and create kind of a thicker line We'll do that on each. This one would maybe be off to the side. This one we kind of still have on here with us. Okay. And now we're gonna create these kind of wispy lines coming up from the bottom. And you're gonna have to play around with this to find what your comfort level is. Some people might find it easier to pull up and away. You might find it easier to start away and pull inward. You know. This kind of design is good for you to play around with your brush strokes to see what you're comfortable with. Um, I kind of go back and forth. If I'm up here, I'm gonna start at the top and I'm gonna kind of pull them down and I'm gonna follow the shape of the petal a little bit like that, down and away. And I'm using that same paint so that it kind of slowly thins out a little bit to give some really different line strokes and textures all the way down to the base, like that. And then when I'm coming up from the bottom, I might pull this way. So whatever works for you, there is no right or wrong way to do it. We're just gonna start pulling. I'm gonna do space them out a little bit first. And then I'll come back through and add some more finer wispy ones. I'm gonna get a little bit more water on my brush because I do want this to be a little bit thinner for some of these wispy ones coming up from the bottom. These tiny little ones, you can go into your center just a little bit because we're gonna add some dotting in there anyways, if that makes it easier. Okay, and we're slowly gonna build up this kind of line work and shading. It's not, you're not gonna place it all at once. And I think that's what kind of gives it a cool look too, is you slowly start to kind of layer it up you don't want to add it all at once. And let the layers dry in between um, as well because you'll be able to kind of see how it dries to whether or not you want to add some more, maybe some more lines along the center area. And then we're going to work our other petals here as well too. So I'll we'll kind of start down here at the base of the flower. And a few down from the top. And you could do the same technique using a color as well. Like if you wanted to do the whole thing in like a pretty shade of pink or purple. That would look nice if you had like a, a white stone. But I, these stones have a, a pretty color to them already on their own. That's kind of why I wanted to play around with just doing the black on them. Okay. Okay, and then once you've got all your lines kind of spaced down there, you can go back in with a really slow, fine line stroke and add paint anywhere you want to add it, like very intentionally. Like, you know, I've been pretty wispy with all of it so far, but if you want to add something like super intentional, just take your time and really kind of add in those soft little tiny lines that you might want to add. 
you can be more intentional, I guess. I already said that. <laughs> Just very specific, you know, about your placement. And you can be really careful about the, the weight of your brush so you can get those really nice fine lines in there. Okay, now for the center area, I was just, I'm dabbing with my brush itself. So I'm gonna go right into the actual black paint here in the back. It's not watered down here yet. Just to start with my dabs, I am gonna go right along that line and kind of place down these dots. And that's why it was okay that we went over the edge because we're gonna do that anyways with these little dabs. And just kind of have them thicker towards that line. And then you can add a couple kind of more spread out into the center. Just play around with it. It's kind of like pointillism, you know, you want to kind of play around, but we want that line where they connect with the flower petals to be a little thicker. And then they can even be overlapping a little bit and then into the center. So once I've got it down a little bit, now I'm going to go into my water and thin it out so that I have some that are a little bit less, um, they can be a little more translucent, I guess. A little, before I come in here, I'm just going to add more right along that line I just don't want to have a harsh line and I actually want to go back in this other one I could still see that line a little bit on that one I just don't want an actual line because that's not the look I'm going for yes <laughs> there you go just like that I don't want to say simple enough because it, it, does, it does take a little bit of technique and practice to be able to do them, but I feel like it's a really good one for practicing your brush strokes because I know a lot of people struggle with that, um, being able to pull the straight lines and things like that. And, and this is one where you can kind of practice it without it being super rigid if you don't get it right. Now, I'm looking overhead now because I've got you guys a nice camera view overhead. Um, I don't like that this edge, it needs a little, I, I like to kind of have an edge sometimes from overhead. So I'm just gonna take and add a line just along this outside edge. Like that just kind of gives it a little finish. And same on this side here, I kind of want that to kind of just connect. Even if it's just a light kind of wispy stroke. So it doesn't look like it just falls off the edge. There we go. All right. You could add a word to this if you wanted to. Um, definitely not necessary. I think they look pretty as they are. Sometimes when I do something artistic like this, if I did want to add a word to it, um, but don't want to mess with the design or I don't want to try to fit it on the front, you could add a sweet little message on the back side of your rock with your hashtag if you do a hashtag. Um, that way you don't have to I don't want to say mess up your design because um, it would mess up your design, but I think you understand what I mean. You can put a message on the back. So I hope you guys enjoyed this simple little tutorial. I think they're very pretty. Like I said, you can do these on a lighter stone with a color instead of the black, but I hope it helps you work on your lines um, and helps you kind of try something new. So have a wonderful weekend, everybody. I know it's Friday, not Thursday. Normally I'm live on Thursday, but I had something come up yesterday and I didn't want to miss you guys completely this week. So we'll see you soon with another fun rock painting tutorial. Thanks for everybody that shared all the hearts and likes and comments. I'll go back through and make sure I didn't miss any questions here in a bit. Bye-bye.